Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. So good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. How are you doing? I just wanted to start by asking you, how are you doing? Now, really, are you feeling gloomy? Are you feeling joy? Are you feeling uh, nostalgic? Are you feeling excited? Are you productive, feeling pr uh, productive? Seems like things are moving. And the trend is like restaurants are opening, you can go outside now, you can venture out. So for those of you who are feeling stress and everything, by all means, please, I am gifting you something. It's all you have to do is text 818-221-2797 and just text the word stress. And by doing so, you will receive a gift called Stress No More, one of my audio recordings that will help you relax in your own terms, in the comfort of your home. So hello, and for those of you who do not know me personally, I am Lisa, and this is my show. It's called Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So today, the topic, what do, what do we want to talk about? I was going to talk about because it's national dentistry for children, children's dentistry. And then yesterday I had a client that we, as we were talking, there was things that we started talking and she got confused in the way I was explaining. And you know what? I realized something, how we communicate, how we connect is so different. So, hi, Liana, how are you, Aziz? Uh, the way we think, the way we analyze things, it's so different. Even when I speak to my assistant, sometimes she talks about in different ways and she puts it like, here, Lisa, it's on Excel sheet. And I'm like, okay, I don't function on Excel. Just share with me, tell me instead of emailing me. Why? Because I am more auditory and I like to hear things and then see things. And then, and so it's like my auditory part is more dominant than anything else. And for being a massage therapist for over 16 years, you would think I am more of a kinesthetic and touch person, which I am, but the words matter more. No wonder this is the business I am in. As a clinical hypnotherapist and for practicing over 20 years, funny, I just realized the way I work with my clients and how I understand them until yesterday, I didn't understand or it didn't just click. And I don't know how you feel. Maybe that's the question I must ask you. Do you know how you think? So do you think in bubbles when you want to understand something? Do you put things in a bubble? Or are you more of like an Excel person that you need things in like a category, in boxes, in a planner, and that's how you organize things your day? and you have a planner and you stick to your planner and every single day you go over that? Or are you more of a flow person, like the waves that come and go? And that's how you think. You think, it flows in, you feel it, and then you breathe out and you flow and let it go. And that's the flow thinking. Now, I think in trees. Like the way I think, there is this bulk, there is the base, and everything has a branch. So I think of my company here is me, and then there is Heal Within, there is my nonprofit, and then Heal Within in itself has so many branches. There is me as the author, as the speaker, as the therapist, and then 
I do corporate, I do individual. So to me, those are all flows of branches and each and every branch has leaps. So then there is the services, there is this, and it flows like that. So why am I talking about this yesterday? My client was talking about in circles. And I was trying to imagine the circles. And she was saying, if I put this in a circle, this is how it would be. And I was thinking of how does it go in a circle? And believe it or not, we all think differently. And none of us are wrong, except we each have our own method of understanding things. So in a way, NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming, is looking someone and mimicking the way they sit, the way uh, their gestures are. And that's why there's people who do profiling in the courtroom, when there's the jury, the attorneys, the good ones hire a profiler so they can look at the jury and recognize their body language, the way they speak, the way they are looking, how they pay attention, you know? The same thing goes in therapy, the way my client was speaking, her words, her gestures, the way she sat, or when she started doing this, like a little girl. So there's aspects of what we do that most times we don't understand how we project and how we come across. So this lady who is in her late forties, she has this small little voice, like a little girl. I, I do this, I do that. And for me to work with her, when she started talking in circles, twiddling her hair in circles, I asked her questions that are more in a circle and mimicking, not necessarily as a gesture of uh, making fun, but for her to find comfort that I understand her. And here's my question to you. How often have you been in a relationship or in a communication talking to someone that you realize we're not understanding each other? We speak the same thing, but seems like we are in two different worlds and not knowing that yes, you may be speaking the same thing. You mean the same thing, but you need to come and meet the other person the way they think, the way they understand what you are saying. So in the old days, hi Mark, how are you? Hi Adrian. Yes, it does, stress no more, right. Um, I think that's what I was saying. Go ahead and text stress for stress no more audio that I will be sending you. And you can text 818-221-2797 and it will help you go and sit in the comfort of your home, relax and absolutely release all the stress and worries. Even stress and worries of why can't I communicate? Why can't we understand each other? You know, lovers after a point of being lovers they become like in a relationship and after we stop being so aware of what the other person's need are we still we start thinking about our own needs right that's how relationship is being on a ship and relating to one another and a ship has many decks so you might be on that high deck in the VIP having an incredible time. And then soon your partner may say, you know what? I'm just gonna go and take a walk, 
and I want to go and explore on this beautiful ship. I want to go to the casino. I want to go to the gambling. And you say, no, I want to go to the spa. But we didn't come here to go gambling. We came over here to be together. Well, yeah, but I need some me time and I want to get, go gamble and have fun. Come with me. No, I don't want to drink. I don't want to gamble. And that's where arguments start. And yet, they're on the same ship and they are here to relate to one another. That's how communication is. How do we relate? How do you think and how does your partner think? So coming to Valentine's, I think this is so apropos to ask, you know, there is a book called The Five Languages of Love the way you speak, are you, I've talked about this, are you auditory, are you kinesthetic, are you visual? So understanding of your lovers or the person you are dating or your husband and wife, girlfriend, it doesn't matter. Speaking their language. Now, this pattern of thinking is another way. It's beyond understanding their language is understanding their thought process or your own get to know yourself because if you don't really know yourself the way you think the way you operate the way you feel what triggers you what makes you feel good simplest thing i remember there was a time that i became so um conscious and inquisitive that I started asking my dad. It's like it was the last year and I knew my dad was not doing good. He was 94 years old, he was sick. And suddenly I started asking him these questions. Dad, what is your favorite color? I remember this so clearly as if it was yesterday. And we're sitting in the car going to the hospital and he would always sit next to me and you know the console i would always put my hand and he would place his hand in mine and as i'm driving us to the hospital i said daddy what is your favorite color and mom was sitting in the back and he thinks for a moment and says yellow i'm going yellow why yellow? He says, it's always by my favorite color. I'm like, dad, how can it be yellow since I've never seen you wearing or doing anything yellow? It was either grays, blues, or even red. He loved red uh, what vests and things like that, and he would match it. He would dress like tip top. And he said, really? Do you remember that little thing, that squeegee I had in the car and it was yellow and I would always hold on to that. And every time I would buy roses and I would make sure that I would get a yellow flower. And I'm like, yeah, he says, you know, I'm, it's interesting that you ask me this. I never realized that it was my favorite color until you asked me. So why am I bringing this up? Sometimes we take our family members, our lovers, and how we communicate with them for granted. So as I said, there's ways of thinking, boxes, people who are like analyzers, people who think in codes, IT people, they're very Excel and boxes. They put things in boxes so everything is in order. There's those who think in circles, a circle here and a circle here. If you have ever doodled, look at the way you doodle. Now that I think about it, even when I doodle, 
it's always like in triangles. I think in triangles. I think because even a triangle to me is like a tree. There's the bark and everything else goes up. And by going up, that's where the branches come. No wonder when I doodle, everything is in triangles. And then I put another one in, into the other one. And then I create stars. Even my logo is like this lotus, right? So become aware of your thinking. Do you think in bridges from here to there? Do you speak it that way? Or are you in a flow? You think about something and then you jump onto something else. Sometimes I do that. I create bridges from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind, right? So if I were to ask you, what is your favorite way of moving? What is your favorite color? What type of a music touches your heart? Not what you like, but what touches your heart? What are your favorite sounds? The sounds that make you go, oh. the smell, because your core, our core, our beginning, everything is in sounds and patterns and scents. Because from the day you were born and you were placed upon your mother's bosom, and you were cradled, you were held. The scent of your mother's body, the sound of the heartbeat, or the first sounds that you as a child, as a baby heard in the room that you were born. You see, those are all core, core. Even the smell of a cookie or baking when you were growing up, you walk into a kitchen, it reminds you of, you see? So the way we think in patterns are so much about how we grew up, how we were raised. And that is when I work with a client and we tap, I have to understand my client. I like to explore this before we work into the subconscious mind. Although it's so easy for me to say on the count of one, two, three, go deep sleep. And I can do this progressive and take my client from A to Z progressive and drop them into that state of relaxation. And from that state of relaxation, take them deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper to a point that they can fully and completely, although they can hear everything that I say, they feel so relaxed, so relaxed, so relaxed and deeply relaxed that they go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. You've seen this. You see, you've seen this on stages. Although I'm not a stage therapist, doing hypnosis and helping a client through therapy is two different things. And yet we can shift thoughts and patterns so fast and yet so slowly. That's the art of hypnosis. So when I sit in my dentist's chair and I can do self-hypnosis and numb my gum to a point that I feel absolutely no pain when he is drilling to do a root canal. So he is taking that nerve and all the way and I am looking at my endotontist and he is doing all this and smiling. He says, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. If I am not, I will let you know by moving my finger. And that is something that we discuss before the session begins. It is something that I discuss with my dentist before the drilling started. So 
communication, relationship is how you relate on that ship. And that relationship can be with this ship, which is your vessel in your mind, your body, your heart. And just a few days ago, the more I think, this is why I love what I do, is I get to explore and learn about my art, the science of the mind and body, how we function more and more. The more I become passionate, apparently, you you don't understand that I am truly passionate about the work that I do and helping my clients make that shift. It's not only mindset reset with a hard set, but setting that core, the foundation, the blueprint, hmm? the ship. Awesome. I'm doing good. Thank you. Great. Let me see if there's any questions. Good afternoon. Awesome. Thank you, Mark, for being here. It's like Mark is one of my biggest. Thank you for being here, uh, cheerleaders. And I am grateful. I am grateful for those of you who show up and support me, who share this message. As a matter of fact, if this message resonates with you, by all means, please share. You can even subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in two weeks, there are so many exciting things that are happening. I am um, creating more trees and more branches and evolving to higher and bigger things. Not for me, but bringing this message of how I can help you become better, healthier, and move from pain to gain. When you feel powerless, when you think no matter what I say, I am un not understood. When you feel like no matter what I do, feels like no one is listening. I don't feel valued. My question to you is, do you hear yourself? Do you value yourself? And how do you do it? How do you, how do you tend to you? How kind are you to you? How do you flourish and blossom On Heal Within, if you don't know, not only personally, but I have a page called Heal Within right here on Facebook. Heal Within has all my past videos, everything. My YouTube channel has it. So if you go to Heal Within, a healing center for mind-body therapy on Facebook, you will get to see a lot of posts starting next week a lot of daily affirmations and posts and things that will help you will be showing up. So I want you to become a part of, like, I want you to become a part of the ship. And yes, we can go to the spa one day. We can go to the gambling part one day so that you can play. The gambling part, I like it to call it the playground. The spa is where you nurture and like having your he, the cave for the men and the she shed for the women, right? It's the cave that I like to go and have my time for myself with the boys. It's cigar night or it's drink night. And the she shed is for the girls to do sitting and journaling and doing girl things. We all need our me time. And I've said this before, if you have children and if you do time out for them, remember, you need your own time out. You don't have to go to the bathroom and close the door to have just a little bit of peace and quiet or even leave the door to have this open door policy when you're in the privacy because you need this time to be one with your body instead of being on pins and needles. So this body of yours can function for what it is instead of being on stress level. I know everything about 
how some of my clients who have come in here said the same thing. I don't have a time for me. Make time for you. Even if it is five minutes. It's like when you go into the shower and you close that shower door. And you are shampooing your hair. And those 10 little fingers of yours or big fingers of yours are massaging your scalp, opening the pores. Allow the water that comes from the top of your head, either trickling down or with that full on pressure to massage your scalp and wash it. And let it drip all the way down from the top of your head to your face, tilt your face. Let it wash your face. Let it wash your chest, your hips, your stomach, your legs, all the way down to the bottom of your feet. And everything that you no longer wish to keep, to hold on to, to let it go. Release and let it go down the tree. You can even turn around and just literally say it. I release it. I shed it. I no longer wish to keep it. That, my dear, you're in total control. So you can if you have circles, make your circles bigger, like bubbles, let it burst. If you think in boxes, make that box bigger and make it visi invisible so that no one, no negativity can touch. And you can always make it smaller so you feel comfortable and know that it's a box that you can just like mine's push it up, push it over, push it away so that you can move and expand. And then you can make it flat that if you want to run, you can. You see, those are all imageries, and that is what I help you create and connect. So you can either let it go when you are ready or keep it knowingly because you are in total control of your mind, your body, and of your emotions. So today, as we let go and ready to stress no more, and if you want to experience delving into that state of pure essence of oneness, and you may think it's only 10 minutes, but and you've been in there for over 40 minutes of utter peace, joy, and relaxation, and you awaken fully conscious more refreshed and rejuvenated. Text 818-221-2797 and receive my gift. And by doing so, I not only will have your phone number, you can ask me anything. All you have to do is you can even text me questions and I will respond. And that is the number you can reach me at. So by all means, let us make this ship travel and go on a journey to better places, more joyous places, and thread on waters that are calmer and just go into flow. And remember at all times, you are safe. You are safe and you matter.
if there was any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Is there anything that I can respond for you? I don't see any questions. If you are watching at this moment, thank you for being here live with me. And if you're watching this on a replay, by all means, just, just put over there replay. Thank you. I can see myself folding up my boxes and taking them with me on a wonderful journey. Great stuff. You are welcome, Adrian. You are more than welcome. That's right. Boxes, you know, every box is folded. And then we take it and then we put it together, tape it, turn it into a box. So remember, everything is flat and boxes come from wood. Wood comes from the bark of trees. And so like branches, leaves, and every season, the tree sheds the leaves and some branches become barren in the winter. And that's when the snow sits on them. And when the season changes and it is time to blossom because of the tree, and its bark because of its strength and its roots that are in Mother Earth. They blossom and not only leaves, but they give fruit and they flourish with beautiful flowers so that the bees come and all the birds come. You see, one tree has so many goods. That's what nature is. And that's who we are. So together we can blossom and we can shed so many of the things that are not necessary. And for that, I must thank you for being here. Go learn about yourself, how you think, how you feel, and learn more about your loved ones, especially your children. Until next week, I wish you goodbye. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. This is Lisa. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos,